He used the stones again. Hey, hey, hey. we'd be going in shorthanded, you know? So let's get him. Use them to bring everyone back. Just like that? Yeah, just like that. If there's a, a small chance that we can undo this, I mean, we owe it to everyone who's not in this room to try. How do we know it's going to end any differently than it did before? Because before you didn't have me. Everybody in this room is about that superhero life. And where the hell have you been all this time? There are a lot of other planets in the universe. And unfortunately, they didn't have you guys. I like this one. Let's go get this son of a bitch. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video with Swagglehaas. Well, I feel like I owe you guys an update because I am quite overwhelmed, to be honest. Overwhelmed with the amount of support uh, from the comic book community I've received in these last 24 hours or so. It's only been 24 hours since I posted the video, but I literally feel like I've been, you know, living a week of time in these last 24 hours. So uh, it is crazy. There is quite a lot to unpack, and this story gets really, really crazy. But let's start it here. We did find three out of these six books, which is a huge positive. And at this current moment in time, those three books are in a place that are at least being held for me. So uh, I do think that when it's all said and done, no matter what, I will be getting my hands back on three out of the six of those books. So let's figure out how we're going to talk about this here, okay? How we're going to unpack this. I think I, I want to share with you guys what has happened, what developments have happened. Uh, I want to share with you guys the scammer account. Um, in fact, actually, let me let me start there. And uh, There are a lot of comments, a lot of messages that I received uh, with some people, understandably so, very, very passionate about wanting to know who the scammer account was. And I did not yesterday release that information in my video uh, due to some, you know, conversations I've had with certain people. Uh, the main thing, the main reason why I did not immediately out that account is that I did not want, you know, hundreds of messages going into that person's inbox uh, and spooking them off or giving them some kind of, you know, uh, ability to kind of take preventative action because in the event that the address and the information I have on this person uh, is in fact their address, uh, I wanted them to be unsuspecting. And there was actually a lot of stuff that came out, thankfully, due to the fact that I was more discreet on you know, leaking out the account. Uh, but at this particular moment in time, I think we've gotten everything that we can get um, from not alerting everybody out there. Uh, and for that reason, I do want to share with you guys the scammer account that I interacted with. Uh, I will put a picture on the screen right now. This particular Instagram account goes by the username of cardfather23 and has the name Robert Mann attached to it. So if you are somebody out there who has interacted with this account or you are currently interacting with this account, I would highly advise that you uh, cease all communication because this was the account that scammed me. Uh, I think we have confirmed at this time that this is indeed a fake name. Uh, so, you know, I, I don't think that there's uh, any Robert Mann out there, you know, in Chicago who actually is the uh, criminal. We were able to track down a Facebook page, which I think this is a Facebook page that is also used for the scam account. Uh, so I think currently at the very least, um, you know, I've already reported it to Instagram as being a scam account. You can do that yourself if you would like. And in fact, if there's anyone from Instagram that ends up watching this video right now, uh, I would actually say if there are ways for you to figure out if this particular account has any ties to other accounts, specifically in the collectible space, um, that's probably a red flag that those other existing accounts are fake ones as well. So uh, I'll let you know Instagram take action or if you guys decide to take action or if you do in fact confirm that this is a scam account, 
Um, hopefully you guys are able to kind of figure out other accounts that are connected to this one. But now that that information is out there, I kind of want to go back and talk about some other things that are going on. Uh, we were in fact able to confirm that this in fact was a scam and not just, you know, someone who forgot to reply to my text messages because it was in fact um, found that my books were being sold on OfferUp. Now here's the situation, and this is something that I think is a very interesting development because at the time uh, yesterday when the video initially dropped, about two hours after it came out, I actually received word from Diamond Comics Club. If you guys don't know, Diamond Comics Club is an Instagram consignment page, uh, one of the really good ones out there. Uh, definitely someone you can trust to actually buy from if you are someone who still uh, is willing to you know, make purchases on Instagram. Uh, they actually reached out to me and said that they found my Marvel Spotlight 5 up for sale in a Facebook group. So they sent over a picture to me. We were able to confirm that it was my book and we were able to track down uh, who the particular seller was. And later on, as you know, uh, the video kept on getting a little more steam, I received other messages, uh, an overwhelming amount of messages. If I didn't re respond to you, I very much apologize, but uh, I've never had so many uh, messages in my inbox before. Uh, it was actually impossible to keep up with everybody. So uh, we did receive word of this particular seller who goes by the name of David on OfferUp. Now, Flash forward to the end of the story before we actually jump to conclusions that this person was the scammer, uh, we've come to learn that this person is actually the victim as well. This person purchased my books from the scammer unknowingly. So he didn't know that these were stolen books and then he posted them on his offer up. And, you know, uh, I think through many people in the community, as he shared with me, uh, definitely received some very uh, colorful messages as well. Uh, so, you know, I'm here to kind of just say, uh, if you guys know of this account, you know, that goes by the name of David, he is a comic book seller. Uh, from what I can tell at this current moment in time, uh, he is also a victim uh, of this situation. So, you know, if you're somebody out there who does know of his account, uh, definitely, you know, uh, uh, spare him some of the uh, flavorful messages uh, that I'm sure he has flooded in his inbox right now. But let's kind of go back once again. Uh, so apparently, you know, we, we uh, Diamond Comic Club had found this uh, thing up for sale by David. And at that current time, that was when we actually were thinking that David, in fact, was the scammer. So he kind of was messaging him saying like, hey, would you be willing to meet up in person? I could do cash. I want to buy the book, yada, yada, yada. And we actually arranged it for them to meet in person, which was absolutely insane. Guy wants to meet up around 8 p.m. We haven't discussed a place, but conveniently he was more than happy to meet closer to me because again, I think he lives closer to that original address you provided rather than way up north. Right. But anyways, I think the best route, so I, I have some police friends stuff like that and i called one of them and he gave the advice of me just meeting with him like mm -hmm. i like not even like i don't even have to talk to him if i don't want to but there's a there's like a couple parking spots that we can meet where i could just kind of be at a location and just be like hey you know i'm here let me know when you get here and what kind of car you're in so then when his car pulls up all i need is that license plate for you man at the time in which we were living this, I mean, it really felt like this was like an underground sting operation. You know, we're going to have to rename Diamond Comics Club to Detective Diamond Comics Club because uh, shout out to Zav. He was he he's been an absolute, you know, hero in this situation so far. Uh, so he did end up meeting this seller known as David uh, later that night and did confront him uh, saying that, hey, you know, we can verify that these are stolen comic books. Uh, and that was when the conversation started going and David was actually able to say like, yo, what do you mean? I ended up buying this stuff. Like I didn't steal it, yada, yada, yada. We kind of thought he was denying it at the time. Uh, but later he was able to provide some screenshots of his interactions with another account that was on offer up. And if we go back and look at sort of the timeline based on what was going on with my conversations with this Robert Mann character, uh, effectively what would have happened is as soon as my books first delivered and my package was being returned to sender, he immediately put my books on offer up and was able to move them right away to this David guy the very, very next day. And then David, 
immediately put the books up on offer up because you know he thought he found a really great opportunity and was able to kind of you know make a profit on those books right away because the guy was selling them in bulk so uh, if we look at david's listings you can see that they were actually listed 12 days ago and you know while they were listed on offer up of course this is when i was going back and forth with this robert mann guy and he was you know giving me the runaround about like oh i don't know man like you know the book was, i don't know why it got returned to me I'll, I'll send it right back to you blah blah blah, blah. you know, that's part of the thing. I think the tactic is he's got to keep me engaged, you know, right away. Cause if he goes immediately, right when he has the books, then I'm going to be able to kind of jump on that right away. Like, you know, he's already trying to move the books off of himself to another seller, which in this particular case he did with David. Now that also means that this particular offer up account, Sammy LaStella is also a scam account that belongs to Robert Mann. We actually uh, looked up this particular name, it belongs to a deceased person, so clearly this is a fake profile as well. But also for the sake of this video, if you are somebody who has been interacting with a name that is like this one, I would also highly recommend you cease conversation with them because this could also be another scam account. So David ended up purchasing these books in person. He told me that he paid cash for them. Uh, there are still some details that we have to kind of work out and figure out and, and really try to understand his story. Uh, David has sort of a visual account of what this guy looked like like uh, he has some pictures that he has captured on his ring doorbell uh, the guy was wearing a mask though and a low hat so it's a little bit hard to figure out exactly who he is so that's kind of where we stand right now i mean there were a ton of other things to talk about uh you know i didn't even go into all of the you know criminal things i've been filling out all of the police uh, reports, all of the fraud reports, uh, doing a lot of stuff in that space. Uh, we've been collecting like mountains of evidence, you know, doing investigations of, you know, PayPal accounts and uh, email accounts and all of that stuff. So all of that stuff is in the works. Obviously, I can't necessarily share that those specifics with you because there is this element of doxing. I did have to consult with someone about, you know, the fact that I'm sharing this account yet I have a YouTube channel and people are gonna see this and there is actually a line that it becomes with doxing. Although I know that because of the fact that this is a criminal thing, uh, there's just cause with it. So, you know, it's just one of those things that I just really had to be careful. But with all that said, I am able to call out this specific Instagram account. So uh, I guess where I would go from here is if you're somebody out there who has ever interacted uh, with this Instagram account, maybe you have other information, maybe you've been scammed before, or maybe you've kind of interacted with a name like Robert Mann in the collectible space uh, and might have some other information about that, uh, that would actually be really, really helpful as well. Um, I do want to say like the amazing, incredible support I've received from the comic book community uh, in these last 24 hours is, um, it's extremely humbling and uh, it, it's, it's overwhelming all at the same time. Like, you know, I, I did something pretty stupid. I made a mistake. This is 100% my fault and something I should have had a better spidey sense for. Um, but even with that being said, uh, you guys, everyone who's reached out, everyone who supported has offered their time and their energy and their resources and their support uh, for my mistake. And I'm very, very uh, grateful to you know all you guys have done. I'm very, very gracious and extremely humbled. Uh, to be in this situation. So uh, there is still a lot more to come. Uh, I will keep you guys updated. Uh, currently where we are right now, uh, obviously we have three books uh, in possession, um, but at the same time, this this guy currently has the books and yet he's out of money as well. So we're going to have to figure out what seems right in terms of how I'm going to be getting these books back. There are still the other three, The Werewolf by Night 32, The Avengers 8, and The Tales to Astonish number 63 that are unaccounted for. So, you know, if you're still out there in the Chicago area at an LCS or whatever, or these books kind of find their way to you, um, you know, definitely let me know if you can. It is actually really funny because I've been thanking Zav from Diamond Comic Club like nonstop throughout this entire process. And funny enough, the Werewolf by Night 32 book is actually a book that I bought from his account uh, through their consignment page. So he mentioned to me that when he saw the video, he, you know, he kind of felt like it was a little bit personal to him as well. Please understand, it was all business. It wasn't personal. It was all personal to me. But I just kind of wanted to give you guys a quick update on what is currently going on. 
and uh, I, I will certainly have a lot more to discuss very, very soon. And then hopefully uh, when we get some kind of resolution, we can kind of go back to doing our sort of regularly scheduled comic book conversations. I haven't even made a Mephisto video. Can you guys believe it? Anyways, I will keep you guys posted.